एक माइनर का बेटा एडुकेशन में कैसे चला गया तुमने गुलाल देखी मैंने जी है हार्ड कोर राजपूत वायलेंट पॉलिटिक्स ऑलमोस्ट सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ दिस कंट्री इज नॉट इवन गोइंग टू कॉलेज आफ्टर स्कूल वट आर टॉकिंग अबाउट लिबरल आर्ट्स एंड अदर्स दैट्स अ लार्जर पॉलिसी फेलियर सो वी हैव क्रिएटेड आईलैंड ऑफ एक्सीलेंस एंड देन वी हैव सी ऑफ मीडियोक्रिटी देन जो दुकान खुल गई है बी एड कॉलेजेस के नाम पे नाइन्टी परसेंट को आपको क्लोज करना पड़ेगा जिनके इश्क मुकम्मल न हुए वो शायर बन गए और जिनके हुए वो सब्जी मंडियों में पाए जाते हैं सॉरी Who better than someone who has been an academic, an administrator, a marketer, and much, much more in a, a career? Yeah. <laughs> in a career that spans over twenty-five years, and the much, much more that I was talking about is that he's not just an academic, an administrator, and a marketer. He's also a poet. He's also a writer. He's also an author. An actor. And yeah. an actor <laughs> and a podcaster, right? And a lot so, more and more and more, yeah. Yeah. So. so who better than this to bring us to our theme for today, which is education and creativity and the relationship between these two? So let's welcome Dr. Dwarika Prasad Unyal, who is the Pro VC Hi at RV University. Hello, hello, sir. And at Minerva, he's the director of Minerva, which is RV's center for center for executive education and leadership. Yes, thank you, sir, for that. Welcome, thank you. Thank you for being our guest, and thank you for honoring us uh, uh, by being here. Because I mean, we have learnt a lot in your mentorship, and uh, beginning with you is a privilege for us. Thank you for making me the bakra. <laughs> <laughs> right. right. So, sir, here's what we are going to do today. We are going to have a freewheeling chat, and we would also love for you to just you know have a chat. With us, as I said, freewheeling and unscripted. Go ahead. Yeah. Shoot your questions. Yes. So, uh, given that I have personally known you for a longer period of time, I still don't know a lot of things about you. Right. Uh, so, why don't we start from from a little earlier in your life? Mm. Can you tell us something about your childhood, uh, which? Which has helped you, you know, in your journey ahead in your life. Yeah, that's an interesting <clears throat> question to start with. It's been long. Somebody who is approaching fifty <laughs> to go back in uh, almost half, half, half a century to yeah. start looking at the childhood. But yeah, I had a very interesting uh, childhood. I was born in Uttarakhand in a village uh, called Rundhar uh, in Tehre Garhwal, and. Uh, Luckily or unluckily, whichever way you look at it, I never lived much in Uttarakhand. I grew up in Rajasthan in a very small township called Zavar Mines, which is a industrial township with mining. My father was a miner, and what all you have seen in a movie called Kala Patthar is what my father's life had been. Wow! So wow. he has had a very interesting life. I think I had 10% of what experiences he had in his life. So we. me and my two sisters older to me grew up in a very quiet industrial township and being in rajasthan and still not being very much like rajasthan so it was like a valley which was very much like a pahar and we, so we kind of looked at so whenever you know our relatives would come they would think ki ye log oont pe chadte honge <laughs> and they would come to zavar and said yahan to pahadi pahad hai lekin wo uttarakhand ke pahad se chote wale pahad hai you know that kind of a thing <laughs> and a beautiful beautiful place uh, essentially i'm talking about 80s okay the oh, wow. 80s of india was very different where for half part of the 80s we didn't have access to television right correct which means we would read which means we would listen to the radio which means we had had real conversations which also meant for the fact that you know and in a small place where else could you go to what yeah. else would you do right So yeah, hardly yeah. anything except sports, hmm. and we had a great, great sports culture. Zavar Mines, with for uninitiated, used to have India's number two largest football tournament. Wow! Oh wow! Since the seventies, and this is in Rajasthan. In Rajasthan, in a small wow. township of I don't know how many thousand people. Right. 
called Zawar. We had a stadium called Zawar Stadium. And why it's Zawar? Because there is a deity called Zawar Mata. Okay. Which was like 11th century deity. Okay. Right? And this whole place was a UNESCO heritage place. And why mines? Because it is the oldest zinc and lead mines in the world. Oh. Okay. But the mining wow. would happen from 11th century to 13th century. Oh. Through a process called clay retort process and smelting, where the even metallurgy was so advanced even in 11th and 13th century back then. So we had those UNESCO K Aushesh, right. as you call right, it in right, Hindi, right, right. where the whole segment was very much there. So one of the oldest mines, one of the oldest mines, and there we could just play. Hmm. Our school was a very unique KV. Mm -hmm. Where our principal, late Muhammad Tahir Nayar, had studied in Jamia and AMU. Okay. So his world vision and exposure to what is now called liberal arts, mm -hmm -hmm. which I do at, at RV and which we've done light at Flame. Sorry, yeah. exactly. cut, Correct? Cut, cut. Ah, cut, cut. Bolo cut, cut bhai. Ah, oh. Let them say action. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so in school we had Mr. Tahir Nayar. Uh, now late. He was educated in Jamia and AMU and, and for a small towners like us, the world beyond that particular school never existed. Hmm. We didn't have television. We didn't, our, our English newspaper would come after three days. And all we have access to was BBC, All India Radio, Vivid Bharti and Voice of America. Hmm. And uh, we would sit post dinner at 8 o'clock as a family and, and listen to Santojan Ki Mehfil. Wow. <laughs> you know that kind of binaka sangeet right, mala, yeah. those kind of those kind of thing. So in that is a, a principal who's coming with that kind of a background, even the eighties, and exposing us to liberal arts, which what we are now calling it, what we used to do at Flame and at now at RV. Right. He exposed us to creative arts. He exposed us to you know co-curricular activities beyond our imaginations. So much so in the 80s, we used to have inter-school competitions called National Integration Week where schools from Udaipur and other bigger towns would come. For, for seven days, we had no studies happening in the school. This all is happening is music festival is happening, creative writing is happening, uh, extempore debates, uh, uh, group dance, group song, all that, whatever you call it, play, theater, drama, whatever you can name it, which was non-digital. Hmm. was all done there. So our exposure to many of these things happened a lot early. And the school never said that boss just have to or marks. Hmm. The 80s was very different than us. For like, parents were also very, very clear that boss be an all-rounder or whatever. My teachers used to call me Stepney. That where you don't get anything, you send them to the debate, you send them to the debate. So we were never good at one thing, but we were good at multiple yeah. things. Yeah. So that's how had happened with us. Childhood was very much engaged in everything. All Studies right, yeah. happen. Okay. Hmm. Achha, ye to, aapki journey is obviously very interesting. Hai. To agar hum isko aise le ki ek minor ka beta hmm. education mein kaise chala gaya? So it was not a conscious choice. Okay. Uh, nothing happened consciously. Okay. Zindagi mein aap bahut kuch banna chahte ho. Theek hai. So पहले आपको पता ही नहीं होता कि क्या करना चाहते हैं तो ये की फिगरिंग आउट कहानी घर घर की हां हां उसके बाद अब लगता है नहीं पढ़ाई में ठीक हो तो साइंस ले लो हम्म साइंस ले ली तो इंजीनियरिंग की तैयारी करो सो so, अभी वो पिक्चर आई 12th फेल समथिंग सो मैं भी बनाने वाला हूं उसका नाम है 12th पास 16वीं फेल <laughs> क्योंकि मैं 12th तो पास कर गया बट उसके बाद मैंने 16 एग्जाम दिए और मैं सब में फेल हुआ बाप रे सो मेरे पिताजी ने बोला यार सब दे दो तो साइंस पढ़ रहे हो तो इंजीनियरिंग भी दे दो अच्छा बायोलॉजी है तो फिर मेडिकल भी दे दो अच्छा ये नहीं हो रहा तो एनआईडी भी एक एग्जाम होता है वो भी दे दो <laughs> ऐसे करते करते मैंने ना जिंदगी में 16 एग्जाम दिए और सेलेक्ट किसी में नहीं हुआ सो देन व्हाट रियली टिपिकली हैपेंस इन योर लाइफ इज दैट यू ट्राइंग टू रियली फिगरिंग आउट इज दैट इफ दिस इज व्हाट नॉट इज हैपनिंग द वर्ल्ड इज सेड टू यू दैट यू वुड लाइक टू डू दिस बट द वर्ल्ड इज ट्रांसपायरिंग नॉट टू यू नॉट टू बिकम दैट Right. Hmm. Hmm. Number se ho, number se ho, kuch ho jata hai, kuch ho jata. Whichever way it happened, it happened like that. And so my journey is broken down into school, which has had two schools. One was KV Zawar and then later on 11th and 12th, I did from Udaipur, which was KV Pratapnagar, where I met one of some of my best friends. 
and and Udaipur, which is a very addictive small town, mm. right. it's a good, it's a beautiful, beautiful town, town yeah. to live. If you want to come back and live, okay, as a youngster and who has aspirations in life, Udaipur has nothing to offer beyond right. it. Right. It's got one or two universities, which is... I think that is with many of these tier 2 th that's That's the only thing, right? So if yeah. you're not cracked in engineering examination, what you do, you go to the local college, right. which is right. the best college there. You study whatever the best they have to offer. And you then drift along with whatever you're supposed to do. So I studied science. And then I picked up computer science within my... Uh, uh, s college and I sucked at it. I could never write a single uh, code. Hmm. I was really bad at it. So, my friends were writing, they were writing, they were writing, they were writing, they were writing. And the guilt of the first year, that you engineering, you are studying with your father's money, what do you do? So, I studied. I studied college already top. I said, this is a bad thing, you don't top college. Because in my class, there were three girls, one of them, four people sitting there. In that time, in the 90s, in the early 90s, there was no college in the 90s. This is post-Mandal Commission, right? So, very different freaky environment plus college politics. So, that's a full section of my life, which is called college politics. You saw Gulal? Yes. I have lived. Wow. Okay, wow. Hardcore, Rajput, violent politics for five years of my life. My name used to be Dip Sa. D.P. Unial. Oh. So, DP was going to be DP. Nobody used to call me Dwari or Dwarika back then. They used to call me DP. Now, DP with all the Banas and the Rajputs becomes Dipsa. Oh my God. Okay. So, they were my contemporaries and friends because we were into student politics. And we were the third gang. Oh. ABVP one gang, NSUI another gang, Rajput gang third. And non-Rajput like us are part of it. Why? Because I could speak English. Right. I was damn good looking even back then. Vanity, right? And I could go to the girls' hostel to get support. No, no, what's? What's? Girls' hostel will be made, then they will not say anything. They are like Dwari. Yes, they are like Dwari. Okay, they are all friends, all friends, all friends, all friends, all friends. So, let's take a vote, vote, take a vote, English, English, and then we will go. Plus, of course, creative, right? So, I could write slogans, creative... Full campaign. Yes, full campaign. How will it be creative, how will it be posted, how will it be an activity, all that. So, full college politics, this is typical. So, that was my college, right? So, my college, I did everything except studies. So, that was the case. So, it was never a conscious choice to move into that one direction. So, it was a Brownian motion. Okay. This is explore, that is explore, that is not working, that is working, that is working. So I never wrote CAT. I never hmm. wanted to get into a business school, which is such an irony that I then no. ended up becoming the professor of business right. schools and taught at the IIMs and all those ones. Right. So where life takes you is a very freaky one. So I started my career as a retail person. Okay. I stumbled upon retail because the organization which gave me job was retail. Mm -hmm. And I had no idea. You study something, but you end up doing something different, something different. right? Correct. Studying marketing, and doing something was very, very different. And it was a startup, it was nice, it was interesting. And we are, we were doing back then what today Chroma does. Oh. Wow, okay. 30 years ago, that was the format we had cracked, that founder Vijay Shet and his team, and then of course we worked, that kind of a thing. And now the original question, how I ended up st and stumbled into academia, is very freaky because I was like, I was a salesman. So, what did she do? If someone came to the house to sell the house, or to sell the house, or to sell the house, they would buy everything. My son would do this. Right? Now, I started in the good showroom. We were doing things and, you know, and I learned good stuff. All that. Dad always thought that, man, you have to study something else. You have to do something else. So, his... He was almost retired, so his free time was that he would come to Wednesday on Ascent. He would cut the jobs on Wednesday. And on Thursday, he would post me. He reached me in three days. Now, he would see something that he would like, so apply it or not, whatever it is. Then dad kept on telling me, do this, do that, whatever. One fine day, he sent me a clipping, cutting of a... Newspaper... He uh, used to post you all these, huh? Yes, speed, speed post. Speed post. Speed post. Wo, uh, regular. Wo cut, cut, wo physical. Okay. Na, sab, uh, uh, speed post actually post tha tha post tha. Tha. Ah, was actually posted. It was very good. It was very good. I mean, it was very good. Not too far. Yeah, actually, they're, they're quite they're close. They're quite yeah, close. So, it was very good. So, in that, 
एक दिन एक क्लिपिंग भेजी कि कटिंग था उसमें लिखा हुआ था माइका ओके अच्छा आई हैड नोन अबाउट माइका इवन इन माय कॉलेज डेज फॉर टू रीजंस मुद्रा विन्यू इट यूज्ड टू बी कॉल्ड मुद्रा वीडियो टेक वो फिल्म्स बनाते थे उस जमाने से तो उनका आता था वो हाथ जोड़ते हुए मुद्रा वीडियो टेक की तरफ से सो एडवर्टाइजिंग विमल की कैंपेन सो एटलीस्ट कॉलेज वॉलेज में वी न्यू मुद्रा एज एन एजेंसी प्लस ऑफकोर्स एडवर्टाइजिंग में जाना है तो मुद्रा इज टॉप वन एंड तब ब्रांड इक्विटी आता था तब हम ब्रांड इक्विटी पढ़ते थे और उसमें सब कैंपेन्स आते थे यूज टू फॉलो ऑल दैट माइक वॉज जस्ट वेरी वेरी यंग बैक देन सो माई फादर सेटअप समथिंग इट वॉज कॉल्ड फैकल्टी इंटर्नशिप प्रोग्राम विद माइका तो क्या होता है क्या फैकल्टी इंटर्नशिप होता क्या है पता नहीं एक जगह के एक आदमी का नाम दिया था उसको सी वी भेजना था हमने भेज दिया मेरे साथ में एक मेरा दोस्त था राहुल नाहर सो हम दोनों साथ में काम करते थे ही स्टडीड विद मी सब कुछ एक जैसा ग्रेजुएशन साथ में पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन साथ में सेम सब्जेक्ट सेम मार्क्स सेम कंपनी में काम करते हैं वो कॉरपोरेट सेल्स में था मैं रिटेल सेल्स में था थर्ड वे में दोनों साथ काम करते थे साथ में रहते थे एक जैसे सी नाम हटा के फोन नंबर फोन नंबर भी मोबाइल फोन होता नहीं था लोकल थर्ड वेव का नंबर था हमने भेज दिया तो हमें कॉल आया कि प्रोफेसर पी के सिन्हा बात करेंगे माइका जैसी बड़ी जगह कोई प्रोफेसर साहब भी है वैसे ही डरते छोटे शहर के लोग छोटे कॉलेज में पढ़े हुए यू नो तो बोला आके मिलो सो देन वहाँ से वो शेला गांव अहमदाबाद चले जा रहे हैं पता नहीं कितनी दूर है जाके पहुँचे तो प्रोफेसर सिन्हा ने कहा देखो फैकल्टी इंटर्नशिप प्रोग्राम के लिए तुम लोग क्वालिफाई नहीं करते हो उसमें थोड़ा बड़ा डिग्री चाहिए थोड़ा बड़ा ऐसा चाहिए एक्सपीरियंस चाहिए पर एक रिसर्च एसोसिएट पोजीशन होती है हमारे पास तो वो उसमें हम एक्सप्लोर कर सकते हैं तुमको तो मैंने पूछा सर उसमें करना क्या होता है बोले नहीं किताब पढ़नी होती है और लिखना होता है तो अपन सेल वेल कर रहे थे ना यार ये तो बड़ा पेन का काम है सेल्स <laughs> इधर किताब पढ़नी है और लिखना है अच्छा क्या होगा बोला सर इसके पैसे मिलते हैं बोले हाँ और माइका सुंदर जगह थी यार और कैंटीन भी सुंदर लड़कियां भी सुंदर जगह भी सुंदर लाइब्रेरी बहुत सुंदर थी एंड ऐसा यार ये तो बढ़िया जगह है इसके पैसे और मिलेंगे <laughs> पढ़ने के पैसे मिलेंगे <laughs> पढ़ने के किताब पढ़ने के पैसे और कभी कभार लिख दो लिखो नहीं लिखो तो क्या मतलब जो भी है सपोज टू डू रिसर्च राइट मतलब उन्होंने रिसर्च के मामले कह दिया कि यार ये तो ठीक है यार तो अपन भाई कहा चले इट वॉज नॉट ए वेरी कॉन्शियस डिसीजन टू मूव देर But then when I went to Micah, so it took me what almost, almost ten years to figure it out. Ten years. From ninety one, hmm. hmm. my grade eleven, to two thousand, almost eight eight years, ninety nine, seven eight eight nine years to figure out what is it that really I love doing. Hmm. Micah, I found myself. Okay. Little late. Mm-hmm. How how old were you? I would have been twenty three. That's not That's very late, late, no. It's, it's I mean, yeah, but masters kar liya, naukri kar liya. No, us zamane ke sab se people are clear cut ki masters kar lete ho, naukri chale jati hai. Those things are fixed things. So the first two years. Look, तो शायद अभी भी आप खुद को ढूंढ रहे हैं. हाँ, सही में. अरे वो मुझसे पूछो ना. Fifty में भी खोज रहा हूँ. So I think that was one place where I started liking the place. Okay. and i started enjoying what i was reading and because i came a little bit of experience and professor sina was doing a little bit research on retail so that merged very well oh. mm. so i came a bit of practice and he was a theoretician Field so then i started understanding the domain right 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 so despite being at myca and mm. despite my love for advertising and everything it's very again very freaky that i never went to advertising professor right i stuck to marketing hmm. and i stuck to I, I stumbled upon something called retail because formats in early 2000 were just emerging. Cafe Coffee Day was just coming in, Barista was coming in, uh, Shopper yeah. Stop has just opened up, Food World has just opened Big up. So that opened up a very know, different yeah. kind of a world for me to study mm. that. Mm. Mm. So that's how my academic journey started. Uh, and then as I said, then you keep becoming aspirational. Right. सो पहले आप दो आर्टिकल लिख रहे हो फिर देन यू वांट दैट इट इज टू बी पब्लिश इन इकोनॉमिक टाइम्स एंड यू कीप अपिंग द बार फॉर इट योरसेल्फ सेल्फ राइट यू सेड ओके ये कर लिया तो अब आपको सीरियस रिसर्च करनी है सो देन वी डिड द सीरियस रिसर्च सो दैट हैप so okay. so that's Great. how the stumbling Jenny. thing right. that's awesome uh, i actually have a question for you and this is probably going to be a nice segue, segue. into that question where 
आपने अभी बोला द द रिटेल स्पेस ट्रांसफॉर्म राइट फ्रॉम एंड द वे आई सी इट इज दैट बेसिकली वी लॉस द काउंटर राइट लाइक जो जो दुकान की दहलीज थी वो हट गई यू कुड एंटर द शॉप इट वॉज मच मोर इंटरक्टिव नाउ विद I mean, today we are seeing a similar thing mm. uh, happen in education, ha. right? I mean, the liberal arts, the ha, ha, ha. Um, the ability for students to choose the mix of the courses that they want, yeah. and uh, things like that. However, this and I may be completely wrong, but this education system somewhere is failing us. Mm. Where the Indian are, education system? Yeah, the Indian says, education yeah. system. The question here is that. There is like in the traditional education space, if we see, सबको डॉक्टर बनना है इंजीनियर बनना है या फिर द एजुकेशन सिस्टम इज गियर्ड फॉर यू टू फाइंड ए जॉब राइट नॉट टू मेक योर जॉब और नॉट टू रियली बी अ थिंकर और बी होलिस्टिक इन नेचर लाइक अनलेस यू आर होलिस्टिक इन नेचर हाउ विल यू डिफाइन और नो वॉट यू हैव टू डू एग्जैक्टली राइट right. तो वो सब उस तरह के सिस्टम में से जब लोग आते हैं या उस तरह के सिस्टम एंड क्रिएटिविटी दीज आर टू कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट प्लैनेट्स राइट बट यू हैव सॉर्ट ऑफ स्ट्रेडल्ड बोथ वर्ल्ड्स सो व्हाट इज योर टेक ऑन वेयर इट स्टैंड्स टुडे डज आर एजुकेशन इज आर एजुकेशन सिस्टम एज एन ओवरऑल सिस्टम नॉट द कॉर्नर केसेज ऑफ द लिबरल आर्ट्स बट As an overall system, where do we stand today, and wh- where should it go in the future? Thora serious question hai, but I, I no, really want to ask. No, but this is an important question, very important question, and especially uh, you're now talking to somebody who spent 25 years in academia. And adding to this, one more thing. I mean, because you are from a smaller town, and all of us have lived a certain part of our lives. But I share with you. But I share with you. No, no, no. Or what? I'm only seven years in Pune. Seven years. लेना <laughs> 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 राइट कोहली ऐसा खेलता है बट पहले देखो तेंदुलकर कैसे खेलता था उससे पहले देखो गावस्कर कैसे खेलता था उससे पहले देखो तुम सो सो ऑलवेज यू स्टार्ट हाउ थिंग्स हैव इवॉल्व इन अवर एजुकेशन सिस्टम फॉर गुड फॉर वर्स इट इज इवॉल्व राइट नाउ पोस्ट फोर्टी सेवन अवर ट्रेडिशनल एजुकेशन सिस्टम वॉज किल्ड बाय द ब्रिटिशर्स विच मीन्स यू हैड अ टेम्पल विलेज और ए प्लेस ए रिलीजियस प्लेस इ रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ द रिलीजन एंड देन विलेज वुड फंड दैट स्कूल थ्रू बिकॉज विलेज वो जगह एक रिलीजियस प्लेस होगा मंदिर होगा या फिर एक मस्जिद होगी या एक गुरुद्वारा होगा उनके पास वो गाँव वाले जमीन देते थे और वहाँ पर जो टीचर होगा उसको गाँव वाले पैसे देंगे सो बेसिक एजुकेशन सिस्टम यूज टू बी लाइक दैट इन बेसिक सिस्टम तो लिबरल आर्ट्स का कॉन्सेप्ट ये बॉरोड कॉन्सेप्ट है वेस्ट ने हमसे चुराया राइट इफ यू रियली लुक एर इट पहले तो चौंसठ कलाएँ होती थी उसमें से 16 कला पारंगत कोई हुआ तो वो आदमी नाट्य शास्त्र में भी होगा और वो दर्शन शास्त्र में भी होगा और तो फिलॉसफी अर्थशास्त्र में भी होगा और मैथमेटिक्स में भी होगा विज्ञान में भी होगा सब कुछ सब पढ़ाया जा रहा विच मीन्स लाइफ में कोई बैरियर्स नहीं थे और आपको वो सारी चीज़ों का लिटरेचर का भी एक्सपोजर मिल रहा है आपको आप आप वो आप 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 रिलीजियस और नॉन रिलीजियस आप लिटरेचर पढ़ रहे हो राइट आप साइंस कर रहे हो आप मेटलर्जी कर रहे हो कैसे वो इतना एडवांस था बिफोर दी सो कॉल्ड साइंटिफिक एजुकेशन केम एंड केन रॉबिन्सन हेज ब्यूटिफुल वीडियो विच कीप्स टॉकिंग अबाउट कि बॉस ये फैक्ट्री के लिए काम करने के लिए बैचेस में बच्चों को अब कौन कहता है तीन साल में बच्चे को और चौथी क्लास में बच्चा इसी क्लास में जाना चाहिए नॉल दैट ऑफ यूज टू बी लाइक सो वी कम फ्रॉम दैट राइट सो दैट गॉट खेल रिप्लेस बाय मिशनरी एजुकेशन and english led school education 
and the boards then started in ICSC or a CBSC started and followed that kind of an English education which was needed for that that right. time right. of India which needed to bridge the gap between an ancient India and the modern world right hmm. and we had lost that ancient India right so so there's this huge huge void which is being kept so tum wahan ke rahe nahi aage tum ja nahi sakte so when nehru ji made that five year policy and everything else so he he set up those schools colleges and the iits and others thinking very well kvs was set up by him thinking very well that we need to create an army of indians who are well educated right right to serve the needs of that society in the 60s in the 50s in the 40s right unfortunately we never reinvented that that is one mm. unlike in the west where the university culture was very strong where the universities were the harbinger of new research innovation we ended up becoming degree granting places so we had universities where nobel laureates had studied including yeah. madras yeah. for example or calcutta or ilahabad bhu later on and amu later we had universities school system was trying to align to that so that we can create entry for that university bsc program yeah exactly or a ba program it was a feeder system it was a feeder system so the school didn't have to do too much hmm. see we can talk about it because we have the luxury right that's the right yeah, that's abhi the... agar deprivation mein reh rahe ho hmm. right so your basic, basic roti kapda makan padhai hmm, bas bilkul ab wo ek decent school unfortunately aaj bhi wo nahi hai 80% hmm aur higher education lesser said the better because even today the ger is 27% which means almost 70% of this country is not even going to college after school okay. what are you talking about liberal arts and others mm. exactly exactly right so that's a larger policy failure mm. both in healthcare as well as so we have created islands of excellence and then we have sea of mediocrity across so that system which you felt stifled was meant for a particular time hmm they never had the incentive to change hmm and then everything was killed from 90s where that time you would have gone to school hmm. by something called coaching institutes and oh, and, to and, and, and and entrance examination mm-hmm. mashallah right so so when i'm saying i wrote 17 <coughs> exams hmm what because kahin pe bhi jaane ke liye aapko exam india's exam obsessed country Uh-huh, right. exactly okay I mean, so uske bare mein alag baat karunga main ki such huge talent waste years after years wo 12th fail 12th pass wo sab wohi kahani hai ye ha ha seventh attempt six attempts when ruhi and i met at labasna when i was teaching i had students back then they were not called students they were called officer trainees they were becoming ias or ips Hmm. that six attempts five attempts foundation course mein mil gaya mera pichle saal bhi to aaya tha bole ha sir pichle saal irs tha is saal ips hu umar kitni 32 i had wow. a student who was 40 the year i was 40 are you even allowed to give that exam yeah, yeah. at that age yeah yeah and yeah, yeah, affirmative yeah. action some people are allowed to write hmm. unlimited acha if you have given no no if you no 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 if you are from a reserved category or oh, right right affirmative right, right. action yeah, will right. allow you to keep writing right. certain categories you have you can't general category affirmative, action, affirmative yes. action requires you to keep so i had i had a student who was 40 the year i was 40 and i was teaching him to bhai kab zindagi shuru karega wo exam mein likh raha hai 8th attempt tha right Crazy. so wo ek alag kahani hai ki the whole quota factory started right hamara time mein shuru hui ha ha correct yeah. 91 92 mein bansal sahab कोटा में जेके की फैक्ट्री बंद हो गई बंसल साहब वहां कोटा में फैक्ट्री में काम करते थे तो उन्होंने मैथ्स पढ़ाना शुरू कर दिया तो एंट्रेंस एग्जाम होता था राजस्थान का पीटी प्री एडमिशन इंजीनियरिंग टेस्ट वे उनके कुछ बच्चे निकल आए और फिर एक बच्चा कुछ आई में चला गया तो बस सबको बंसल जाना है तो उदयपुर से भी बच्चे उदयपुर में कोचिंग वोचिंग चलता था हमने भी करी सब किया तो लेकिन सब अलग अलग होता था तो अब स्कूल सिस्टम became feeder grounds not for the colleges they became feeder ground for the coaching institutes and there right hmm. because ultimately in order to become whatever whether you call it good bad ugly you want to become anything 
you want to become a doctor or you want to become an artist or you want to become a designer or you want to become a filmmaker you name it for everything you have to go to a college yeah yeah in order to go to the college there is an entrance examination now in order to crack that entrance examination you have a c of coaching institutes which will help you prepare for that and the whole system is designed for fail because 99% will fail anyway correct right yeah and then where would those go those people go like me 17 exam fail karne ke 16 exam fail karne ke baad kahan jayega ek local college mein jayega that local college has not evolved yeah that local college has not evolved right that local college became a degree granting college jahan pe padho padho nahi aao nahi aao ha versus what is happening in us or what is happening in some other good universities where the college itself is good enough high quality teachers high quality research high quality curriculum is enabling you to give you 3 to 4 year of really good education right which can prepare you to do whatever in life hmm. so in, in the sense everything is liberal arts it's not just liberal arts colleges and all that whether you want to study sciences or you want to study computer science or you want to study physics or whatever you 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 are in college itself the foundation is laid in a manner that you study yeah. multiple disciplines and find the interconnections later on right, right. but sir ek question hai matlab Haan. ki usme fir the the person who's enabling that yeah ya jo jo vyakti aapko sikha raha hai sikha rahi hai ha उनका जो रोल है दैट इज क्रिटिकल या बट मतलब इस देश में टीचर कौन बनना चाहता है वो भी बात है समबडी आस्क मी नो नो उसी की तरह समबडी आस्क मी दिस सर यू आर सो गुड हाउ कम यू आर अ टीचर टीचर सो आई हैड अ फ्लिप्ड क्वेश्चन दैट आई एम सो गुड एंड हेंस आई नीड टू बी अ टीचर इजंट इट सो आज स्कूल में कॉलेज तो अलग कहानी है स्कूल में कौन टीचर बन रहा है सर ये बहुत बड़ा चैलेंज है वो आप आप सब अपने अपने लाइफ में डॉक्टर बन गए हो फिल्म मेकर बन गए हो ये बन गए हो वो बन गए हो एस्पिरेशन टीचर बनने का एस्पिरेशन किसको होता है किसी को नहीं होता है मेरी सिस्टर पढ़ाती है बीएड कॉलेज में बच्चे आते हैं उनके लिए सिर्फ एक स्टॉप गैप होता है वो बीएड नॉट दैट दे वांट टू मेक अ करियर दे जस्ट वांट टू डू इट बिकॉज़ ऑफ द फैक्ट दैट दे कुडंट फाइंड इट समथिंग एल्स जी प्लस हमने एंट्री बैरियर्स जीरो कर दिए सो हाउ कैन वी सॉल्व दिस सर बिकॉज़ ये सच में एक प्रॉब्लम है स्पेशली नहीं 90% कॉलेज बंद करने पड़ेंगे ना रूही अगर आप एक अच्छे आदमी को टीचर एक तो टीचर एंट्री को आपको चेंज करना पड़ेगा राइट एग्जामिनेशन वो ही वापस अगेन यू हैव टू क्रिएट अ बेटर फिल्टर देन जो दुकान खुल गई है बीएड कॉलेजेस के नाम पे राइट नाइन्टी परसेंट को आपको क्लोज करना पड़ेगा राइट एंड देन क्रिएट कैपेसिटी बिकॉज टीचर्स बनाने हैं आपको अच्छे बनाने हैं अच्छे टीचर्स बनाने अभी क्या होता है एनी बडी कैन जस्ट डू इट आपको कॉलेज भी जाने की जरूरत नहीं है आप सिर्फ एग्जाम लिखते हो आपकी फाइल भी कोई और बना लेता है सो जो सो टीचर ट्रेनिंग like for example in singapore because they are smaller mm. can manage better yeah the kindergarten teacher cut off is pretty high mm. Mm. like you go to people keep talking about finland and other the best of their society they end up making them as a teacher yeah right because the base itself it needs to be and then paid well. well yeah paid well that right that's an today incentive. today my yeah. driver earns more than a tgt or a ph pgt in a in a private school sarkari to alag yeah so there are this multiple layers yes. at which education suffers at one end in india in country like india you have to train millions of people Hmm. give education to millions and millions of people which means you need to open up hundreds and hundreds and thousands of schools and colleges now in order to run those you need to have set of people who are trained to teach in those right as an as an administrator i i i struggle to get good faculty in 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 universities today because supply is not consistent supply is not that good and then it requires years and years of training to become a good teacher right and also there is a tussle between uh, government and private as well that is one second is about research versus teaching wo ek alag kahani hai which yeah. is benchmarking is being done right. yeah but the larger and question is that yes jo freedom flexibility schools mein hoti thi wo kill ho gayi hai because of coaching मेरा एक स्टूडेंट है ही रन्स वेरी फाइन स्कूल इन रायपुर 
ही वॉज टेलिंग मी कि सर मेरे को लगता है कि टेंथ तक ही कर देता हूँ उसको इलेवन ट्वेल्थ बंद कर देता हूँ अच्छा बोले क्यों बोले सर वो साइंस वाले तो सब कोचिंग में चले जाते हैं ह्यूमैनिटीज के बच्चे बचते हैं उनके लिए क्या चलाओ राइट राइट अब ये हो गया कि स्कूल्स ने टाइप कर लिया इस कोचिंग के साथ कोचिंग के साथ तो बच्चे स्कूल जाते हैं और सीधे वहां से इंग्लिश पढ़ते हैं और फिर कोचिंग में चले जाते हैं तो मतलब एकदम बेसिक अब आप सोचो कि जो इलेवेंथ एंड ट्वेल्थ जो विच आई चेरिश माय इयर्स एंड आई एम श्योर योर्स इज वेल द मोस्ट फाउंड foundational Foundation. years of your life where you make the best of your friends right and i'm friends with those people even after 30 32 years mm. you enjoy the most amazing time in school because now you are a senior now you do thousand <laughs> things <laughs> to mai to hamare school mein jeans pehen ke bhi jata tha theek hai bunk bhi marte ho aap you had great memories of that time but wo aap school hi nahi ja rahe ho aapka socialization sab khatam ho gaya baki cheeze yaar you you fall in love with the school Yes. You have your first crush in your 11th and 12th. Yes. You have got great memories. Aaj yeah. muse kaise poetry kam likhega yaar? 11th 12th mein. 11th 12th mein likhega. Exactly. Hai na? Love letter likho. Love letter. Okay. Sabse pehle wo sab kahaniyan ki matlab jinke ishq mukammal na hue wo shayar ban gaye. Ha. Ha. Aur jinke hue wo sabzi mandiyon mein paaye jaate hain. Sorry. Such a cheesy one but you know. No, no. But that's the how fact the fact to be it is it is true. It is true. राइट सो सो आई थिंक वो एक जो just cut here because i think the batteries Batteries. are running out sorry before ah. we get into the nep let's just uh, quickly cut yeah